All right, I pulled a three-way switch out of the box just to give you an example of what it looks like. And it's matching three-way switches downstairs. If you have two switches that operate one light or a group of lights, you've got a pair of three-way switches. On the lever itself, it's not going to be marked on or off. And you're going to have three screw terminals on the body. You're going to have one dark colored screw, which is your common. And you're going to have two light colored screws, and those are your travelers. Uh, usually you're going to have a ground, a green wire, or a bare wire. In this case, we don't. But we'll go through the steps here to replace and change a three-way switch. Make sure you always turn off the electric going to the switch before you do any repairs. So to change the three-way switch, your first step would be to shut off the breaker or pull the fuse that's going to the circuit that operates the light. And then once you pull the switch out of the box, you'd want to test each wire just to make sure you don't have any electric. The best place to start before you remove any of the wires is mark with a piece of masking tape this wire that's going to the dark screw, the common. This has to be attached to the dark screw on the new switch. The other two wires are going to your travelers, your light colored screws, and they are interchangeable. So it doesn't matter which screw you put those on. And you want to do this on both of those switches. All right, this is the three-way switch downstairs. And we've got the dark colored screw connected to this red wire. And it's stripped in the center. And we have the two light colored screws, our travelers, connected on the bottom here. And each company is going to have a little different configuration. You might have the dark colored screw on one switch by itself or on the same side with the light colored screw. The main thing is we get this wire that was connected to the common connected to the common on the new switch. So replacing a three-way switch is very easy if you haven't removed the wires from the old switch. Mark the common on both of the switches, then unscrew all your wires, reconnect it, making sure you connect the wire that was connected to the dark screw on both of the new switches, and you'll have no problems. Now we'll go over a few steps, some troubleshooting tips. If you've already removed your three-way switch and you don't know which wire goes to which terminal. All right, this is a very simple illustration of what a circuit would look like if we removed the two three-way switches and it's going up to a light. You've got the hot coming in from the service panel. It's going to go through the two boxes up to your light, and then you've got your white, your neutral, coming back to the service panel. So to find the first common, we're going to need to turn the electric back on, so you're going to have to be very careful here, and you're going to have to make sure the wires are all separated and not touching anything. Once you turn the electric back on, you're going to use an electrical tester and you're going to test each wire to find which one's live. Now in this case, you're going to test all these and none of them will have any electric flowing to it. This wire will. So this is our common. This is the wire that's going to go to the first dark screw, the common screw on the first three-way switch. We know that these two are going to be the travelers. So once you identify this, you're going to turn the electric back off and we're going to wire up this first switch. We're going to put the wire that was live to the common dark screw. We're going to put the two light colored screws to these two wires, which are our travelers. Now we're going to turn the electric back on and we're going to go to the second box. Now we're trying to find the two travelers. We're going to test these wires and the first one that's live is going to be one of our travelers. So we're going to identify this wire. We're going to switch the lever on the first three-way switch to the opposite direction and that's going to tell us which is our second traveler. And now that we found which one is live, we know our two travelers. Now we're going to go back and we're going to shut off the electric again and we're going to wire our second three-way switch. The two lines that we identified as hot are our travelers. We'll connect those to the light colored screws and we know that this last wire that wasn't hot is going to be the common, the dark colored screw, going up to the light. And it's really that simple to test if you've taken off the two three-way switches and you don't know which wire goes to which screw, those would be the steps to find how to rewire your switches.